All right, here's a product, guys, that, you know, I'm going to really have to see it in person to kind of compare it to the Ryobi. Uh, both are brushed. Um, you know, guys, I've done deals over the past year since the Ryobi version has been out. And I've done hacks where it was 80 bucks, man. 80, 75. I think, I think 77. I think it was 77. Um, we've seen it for 80, 85, you know, depending on the hack and whatnot. Now, the interesting thing is, are we going to see these hacks this year? Um, we saw some of them during the Christmas video. Um, you know, we're going to have to see. All right. Um, we knew that those hacks weren't going to last forever. That's why I always harped on them. Get the tools you need. You don't know if it's coming back. You know, and I said that and it came back two or three times. But with this new subcompact stuff from Rigid, I'd love to see the hack. And even with the new Ryobi subcompact stuff, I, I would love to see the hack. All right, so anyway, 179, again, we did a Milwaukee hack, right? Probably in March. The deep cut bandsaw, and you got a free eight. And if you return, and it was $329, and if you returned your free eight, okay, I believe you got $130 back. Amber Alert. Oh, my God. You seeing this? Son of a... Son of a... Amber Alert! Amber Alert! Hi, Hyden Jordan, one year old, was taken... Um, looks like... Well, three... Jeez, uh, I tell you. Heidi Jordan, black female. Devin Johnson, black male. Sincere Johnson, five years old black male suspect crystal johnson 26 years old oh god let's uh keep uh, our prayers for this family all right um i can't even remember what the heck i was talking about all right anyway you got it for around um 200 bucks right maybe a little less i think i don't know 195 all right, brushless, deep cut, Milwaukee, five-year warranty, all right? Now, again, those deals, um, I don't know if we're going to see any more. That was March, February, right, before the pandemic and stuff. Probably never going to see that again. But, you know, bandsaws are, are usually pretty pricey, all right? I think $179 is a fair price. It's brushed, again, if we don't see that Ryobi, now I, I I don't know what the Ryobi costs. Regular price. Um, I would say it's $20 less, just like every other Ryobi tool compared to Rigid, pretty much. I mean, right here, $159, guys. All right? <laughs> and you're getting... A four amp hour battery and a charger. All right, we've seen it again, like I said, with the hack, eight, 80 bucks, 85 bucks bare tool. Um, they don't even have it bare tool here, but let's consider the specs, okay? So you're gonna save 20 bucks, you're gonna get a four, and you're gonna get a charger. Oh, wait, tool only, and it's probably 159. Oh, it's one nine. It's actually. Tool only, I, I, I hit, but this isn't tool only because there's a charger. All right, whatever. I mean, it's unbelievable with this stuff, man. All right, clears 560 surface feet per minute. All right, two and a half inch cut capacity. All right, and 560 
S F P M. I mean, you can get a healthy. I mean, you can get a healthy man for two forty nine, and they say just tool body. Twenty year limited warranty, two year wear and tear coverage, one day repair turnaround. Again, this is tool only. But, I mean, I don't know, $70 more. Now, obviously, you got to get into a much more expensive battery platform. But, all right, so 680 SFPM. All right, so obviously, you're getting more here. Two and a half inch. All right, so same as the Ryobi. Um, we know Ryobi's a little bit, you know, with their specs. Um, not saying that they're lying, but you know, 680, it's probably, you know, not as big of a difference. Um, you do have a variable speed dial. I don't know if you get that dial. Um, Three twenty to six eighty, so you can really control that um, SFPM. I don't, and you get an integrated rafter hook. Somehow we will find it. There is, there's something in your eyes, but love will never compromise. Give a little bit of heart and soul. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's no rafter hook. All right. And this has a little bit different type of uh, blade setup, I believe. Um, yeah, 560. Verse, what was it, 680? Adjustable blade tracking, integrated pommel handle. Yeah, I mean, what can I, I mean, guys. If, obviously, I think the, um, I think the Rigid is uh, a better bandsaw than, than this Ryobi. Um, but, both are really DIY bandsaws, all right? I'm not saying that, you know, so, some plumbers cutting PVC and stuff or, you know, uh, you're going to probably have a Milwaukee if you use it a lot. You're probably going to have a, a, a Hilti, a DeWalt, maybe a Makita. So, I mean, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it now? If you can get it, right, one, 179 and we can do a hack, right, and get it down to $129, I would probably get the Rigid. Now, the Ryobi's got pretty darn good reviews here, um, but it's hard to pass up the Ryobi. Um, let me just see what the weight is here. Because the bandsaw is another tool that, I mean, here's a 12 volt that, you know, can get heavy after, you know, you're kind of raising it in certain. Maximum blade, that, that's about the same as the rigid. Why isn't it telling me the weight? All right, 7.35. Give a little bit. All right, so you do got that dial here. 
All right, you do got that nice rafter hook. You know, you're going to have a nice, a little bit better fit and finish with this. It does look a little bit bigger, even though I think this is, I don't know if they are considering this sub, yeah, it is a compact. Um, let me just, 7.35. Same exact weight, guys. That I mean, guys, you know, you you you're <laughs> you hear me say it all the time a little bit different design right i don't want to say it. a little bit different plastic right you know like different moldings right but a lot of the in internals of these two tools the the platforms both of them are very similar guys all right you know for TTI to mass produce, you know, two brands like Ryobi and Rigid, right? They're not going to have, all right, you know, two different, you know, departments for engineering, right? Construction, back engineering, design, all right? running um you know lines of making these tools a lot of them are same they're kind of just snapped in into different you know plastic molding housings cages and whatnot obviously two different types of batteries you got a post and you got a slide on pack um you know different marketing right one lifetime warranty well ooh, excuse me oop smack Lifetime service agreement and the other with the Ryobi three year warranty. But um, obviously, you do have a little bit more power with this one and that, that dial that they kind of added. But I wouldn't be surprised, all right, if you get pretty much the same type of performance. You know, Rigid might do a little bit better. They're both the same weight. Get the battery and the charger. For the same price. If you want to read up on it. All right. You got the variable speed dial. Which is pretty cool. And they will be giving away a new 18 volt. I mean, this is a billion dollar company, guys. Right, TTI. And they're giving away three bandsaws. I mean, can you be any more just... Ugh. I mean, I mean, that is crazy. You're coming out with a new tool. And out of all the rigid fans and, you know, their tens and twenties and, and maybe a hundred thousand Instagram followers and Facebook and YouTube, they're going to give away three bandsaws. Joke. 